YouTube, YouTube, what's happening? Not your average trucker. Turn our music off, man. I don't want no uh, copyright claims. But uh, just wanted to check in real quick, man. Headed home. You know, rough couple days. Had a truck, man. It's been sitting. Uh, had the truck sitting for a couple months. Uh, you know, I fired the last guy that was in it. And I just hadn't, wasn't too pressed about you know, finding a replacement. So finally, uh, I decide, man, let me throw somebody in this truck. You know, obviously truck ain't making me no money sitting still. It's a Volvo. It's like a, uh, I don't know what year that thing is. It's like five, six years old. Um, but anyway, you know, it's been sitting since probably September. You know, and, you know, I go out there and I might crank it once a week if I'm thinking about it. Turns out, a few weeks I wasn't thinking about it clearly, and uh, you know, went out there to start it, wouldn't start. So you know, I give it a jump through all that. I decide, hey man, I'm gonna jump in it and drive it today since you know it ain't been driven in a while. Had it running for about an hour or so. There's plenty of fuel in it. Push the brakes in, try to pull out. Sucker wouldn't pull it, sucker wouldn't move. I'm like, what? You know, so, you know, I'm looking around the truck. I don't see, you know, to the naked eye, I didn't see anything. And I get to looking at the brakes on the rear axle. And they look like them things was like welded together, like. <laughs> I can't even explain the site. So, obviously it wasn't drivable. Ended up having to get it towed to a shop and they said the same thing. They like, man, we ain't never seen no brakes, you know, stuck like this. Like, what happened? And I'm like, listen, I'm the one that parked it there. Like, September, right before uh, we had like a hurricane hit the area, well, you know, it was on the way to the area, so they was having some emergency runs and um, they hit up my company uh, Caterpillar hit us up well you know Lowe's wanting us to pick up some generators from Caterpillar and um, you know they're paying crazy rates so naturally I'm like bet so I jumped in that truck that day instead of the day cab I jumped in a sleeper and um, I probably did like six loads that day you know, uh, picking up generators in uh, South Carolina. And then I um, delivered it to uh, six different Lowe's, you know, home improvement stores or whatever. And then, uh, you know, that day I parked it and I ain't drove it since. Truck drove perfectly fine that day. Um, I mean, you know, no no issue, man. Like, the brakes was fine. Like, everything was fine. I had no problem. So, whatever. Anyway, I get it towed to the shop. Shop had to use, like, a sledgehammer to get the brakes off. So, they ended up having to replace uh, the rear, the brakes on the rear axle. Well, they went ahead and did the whole back end brakes. Had to replace um, some S-cam. The, the S-cam bushing. Anyway, it went from... Me thinking I'm gonna spend just a couple dollars getting some brakes brakes done. I had noticed that uh, one of the airbags on the steer axle on the passenger side seemed like it was leaking air. So I got them to fix that and you know fix that too. So initially, you know, I'm a small fleet man. I only got you know 11 trucks, so it's not like I have mechanics on duty. So I got to use you know a shop just like the next man. But anyway, they initially like yeah man. It's, you know, eight hundred dollars to replace two uh, two uh, airbags on the steer axle and to replace the uh, the brakes, the uh, S cam bushings. Um, I think it was like a, I don't know, it was a bunch of crap. But anyway, next thing I know, I'm getting the email for an invoice. It went from being eight hundred dollars to 
$4,100 and a list of crap that they uh, end up fixing on the truck, man. They claim they found a, a leak on one of the wheel seals, so they fixed that. They were saying that the reason them brakes got stuck was they noticed the uh, plunger under the, uh, the foot pedal valve or something uh, was going bad. Like a whole list of mess. So you can imagine you think you're about to spend eight hundred dollars and then you get a bill for four thousand dollars. You're like, man, what the hell? So anyway, that shop closes at 7 p.m. And uh, you know, I was doing some running around. So I ended up, you know, getting there right before six, a little out, you know, around six p.m., you know, an hour before they close. I picked the truck up, you know, like I said, that truck hadn't really been driven since September, so picked the truck up, um, went and hooked up to one of my trailers, had a load of uh, paper towels on it, it was only, you know, about 15,000 pounds. I jump in the truck, I pull off, everything rides smooth, you know, the airbags is good, you know, I'm, I tested everything before I left, but I'm on the highway, 85 North truck driving fine you know I, i've been on the road for like 15 miles it's a four lane highway i'm in the second left lane so i'm flying i'm doing like 70 miles an hour all of a sudden the truck started jerking i'm like what the hell you know i thought i thought maybe because you know they replaced the um the uh airbags and you know i'm you know i you know i ain't a mechanic i don't know if they took the wheels off to get to the airbag or if they just raised the truck and did it from below who knows so I'm like, man, it feel like my, my passenger side wheel about to freaking fall off or something. So I pull over, look around the truck. I check everything. It's no no problem. I'm like, what in the world is going on? Next thing you know, the truck start sputtering, sounding weird as hell, sitting still. Like idling rough, yo. I mean, it sounded like it was starving for fuel or something. So I'm like, man, what the hell is this? So I cut the truck off. I'm looking all under the hood. You know, I ain't a mechanic, but I own enough trucks to know. You know, if something out of whack, it normally a stand out to me, but couldn't figure it out, man. So I cut the truck back on and it was sounding fine. So I'm like, all right, well, the truck's been sitting for several months. Could be a fluky thing, man. Maybe, you know, because my fuel filters, well, I checked the clear one, it looked fine. Because I'm like, yo, the truck had fuel in it. It was uh, like a little under half a tank. I'll say like 40%. And, um... It had been sitting for several months, so you know maybe it's I don't know some crap in the in the bottom of the fuel tank and got into the engine. I don't know. So I start driving. It was fine. I get up to tenth gear, start doing it again. Needless to say, man. Long story short, um, it ended up cutting off on me, man. <laughs> so the shop I just picked it up from, they was closed now. Um, it was getting dark. It was dark outside. Needless to say, I spent four grand picking the truck up out of the shop that basically was in there for brakes, like nothing actual, you know, mechanical. And that sucker broke down on me, man. Ended up having to get it towed back to the Dago shop. Um, and I'm pissed off, man. Nothing worse. This happened to me several times, man. Uh, nothing worse than picking a truck up from a shop. <laughs> and the truck break down with a problem that it didn't even go in there with. But it's hard for me to be mad at anybody because, um, like I said, the truck's been sitting for a couple months. So, you know, hopefully it's just something simple because, you know, it's a Volvo with a freaking Volvo engine in it. I own, uh, how many Volvos do I have? Like five Volvos. And, um, I hate freaking Volvos. They gassed me up early in the beginning. I had first Volvo I bought. I had no problems with it for like two years. So that gassed me up because initially I was just, you know, I, I believe in buying cheap trucks because it's easier for me to make my money back. I've never financed a truck, never did any of that. You know, I'm a strictly cash, cash guy. So, you know, I was buying Freightliners because Freightliners is always cheap. They're always available and, you know, any shop can work on those Detroit engines. But that Volvo that I initially bought, 
bought that one back in like 2015 or 16 and um never had a problem with it so that made me buy more volvos because i'm like hey man you know obviously they roll smooth you know i ain't have a problem terrible idea ever since i had more than one volvo some things stay in the shop it seems like man so it is what it is like that volvo there you know and that's another thing a lot of these shops don't want to touch a volvo engine so you end up having to take it directly to the dealer and that's who had it you know that's who did this work but like i said it wasn't really mechanical you know initially it was just brakes and freaking airbag like you know a dude on the corner could do that you know what i mean it's not no skill involved in that but needless to say man just an update man i'm annoyed um I'm annoyed, man, but, you know, it's a part of being a boss, man, part of being a fleet owner is a part of being a, just an owner-operator, man. You own your own equipment. Sometimes they break down on you. You know, good thing is I didn't have a driver in it. And any day, I would I would rather the breakdown occur while I'm in the truck rather than inconvenience, you know, a driver, because that's annoying. Plus, I got to pay them to sit there, pay them to wait for a tow truck, pay them, you know, for downtime, so I'd rather it be me. And it's also a good thing that, you know, I wasn't using that truck for nothing, so it's not really stopping my money. You know, I got another truck I can jump into, but more than anything, it's just a, a case of being extremely annoyed because part of me is like, why'd you even mess with the truck anyway? Because it it had been sitting there, like, who cares? So the day that I decide, is that FedEx or my house? The day that I decide to mess with it is when it uh, breaks down on me, man. So just hope they don't pad the bill on me this time. But like I said, man, I just wanted to give a quick update. She got my Chavez trucker on this Friday. Home. About to kick it with my family. Y'all be easy out there. Stay safe. Remember, like, like, share, subscribe, you heard?